Hello, everyone, and welcome to your pre-recorded Saturday intervals class. This is going to be between a 40 and 45 minute class, high intensity interval training. Remember, high intensity does not need to be high impact. I encourage you to listen to your body. You go at a pace that works for you. As you will notice, I am coming to you from the Delta of Toronto. I just attended the Friday uh, fitness conference. Um, all of the sessions, most of them were lectures today. There was a couple little workshops, a wealth of information, and I'm excited to bring some of that back to you as I go through my notes. So I am here with no equipment. All right, so I don't have any weights. I don't have a yoga mat. I am actually using the bath mat from my hotel room. I moved one of the chairs out of the way so I can do the workout by the bed. It, I just want you to see you don't need to have a ton of equipment, all right? So please remember, listen to your body, go at a pace that works for you. The purpose of an interval training class is to bring the heart rate up, bring it back down, bring it up, bring it back down. So we're gonna do pairs of exercises. We are gonna do the first interval is going to be high intensity and then we're gonna take it down and then we're gonna repeat that a second time and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, for those of you that are new and haven't done this before, don't worry, we're gonna get through this. So let's start marching it up first. We're going to get our warm up done. Warm ups are so important. We want to make sure that we get the blood flowing, that we get the heart and the lungs doing what they need to be doing. We warm up the muscles, the joints, the ligaments, the tendons. Now, I am doing my workout today in my bare feet. That is because it is a hard floor and I really don't want to disturb anybody below me. I am on the 10th floor here and um, not the greatest view, but it's still pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's take your feet wide. Last night there was a bit of a thunder and lightning storm, so it was really cool. I got to see the big streaks of lightning go across the sky, which was really neat for sure. That's it. Let's take the feet in and out. I do have to be careful. The floor, I think it's a laminate floor. It can be a little bit slippery, so I'm, I'm trying to be careful here for sure. That's it. Good. Two feet together, little squats right here. Doesn't have to be big. I'm going to turn sideways. I'm just doing these little tiny just to get my knees warmed up. I've been sitting quite a bit today, although I, I have to say a lot of the lectures were really great. They got us moving every now and then, trying out some things. Good. Take the feet wide, reach and pull. Beautiful job. Really reach those arms now. We're going to warm up the shoulders, the chest, and the back. And let's do a squat and a tap right here. Good. Perfect. And I wanted to make sure that I got this workout in before the sun went down because there's not a lot of light in my hotel room. Good. And reach it across. I've got every single light turned on, as you can see. Really good. That's it. So I'm like, okay, sun, just hang in there with me. Good. Reach it up and over. Whoop. That's it. We'll get this one done. It might start to get dark as we go, but I will do the best I can. That's it. And let's bring it out and let's just lunge it side to side. Good. And run out of thighs. I appreciate you all doing these pre recordings. I love the fact that I can do these workouts for you, bring them to you. You're still getting your workout done even when I'm away. You know, this summer that has been so important to me. Let's hold it to one side. Let's turn towards the bent knee, push the back heel down. My foot is slipping a little bit. I gotta be careful of that for sure. Let's hit the back leg, drop it down, pull it right there. Good, bring it up. Let's go over to the other side. Slide my foot away. Good, turn towards the bent knee, push that, oh, that back heel down. Let's stretch out my calves super tight. Good, bend the back leg, drop it down. Beautiful, bring it up, number two, palms face up. Stretch out the chest, turn the hands, open up the back, open up the chest, open up the back, beautiful job. Excellent, chest, shoulders, back, nice and warm, and let's hold this one open. Open it up, nice and tall. Beautiful, let's bring the arms down. Take a big inhale up. Clasp the hands together, reach and pull all the way over. Do that again, big inhale up. Reach and pull all the way over. 
One more, big inhale up. Reach all the way over. Beautiful, okay, really quickly, grab a sip of water. I am going to turn down the temperature in this room a little bit, because I don't need it that warm in here. We're gonna get started with our first interval. We are gonna do butt kicks. You have an option. If you're gonna do high impact, you're here. Your lower impact, but still high intensity, is here, getting those arms up above the heart. Whenever you bring the arms up above the heart, it's gonna bring up the heart rate. We are gonna combine it up with a slow push up. Please remember you can do this on absolutely anything. You can go toes, knees, I can go the side of the bed, or maybe here against one of the tables, what, or even a wall. Just make sure we're gonna go nice and slow. It's gonna be your chest coming down between your hands. Are you ready? 30, 30. Let's do those butt kicks first. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go right here. That's it. So you're finding what works for you. This is still the first interval. Maybe your body is not ready for any sort of impact. Maybe you're still here. And that is absolutely 100% okay to be here. This is still gonna get my heart rate up, especially if I bring those arms up, right? It doesn't have to be jumping and impacting the joints and the bladder. Two, one, we're gonna go into push-ups. So I'm gonna move my mat, make sure that you can see me. Uh, I'll do a couple from my toes, but this is our low intensity. So I'll probably come to my knees. So down, push it up, bring it down, push it up. If you need to be on your knees, that's okay. Right here, there's absolutely zero judgment. No judgment. Down and up, good. Remember, you can do this on an ottoman, the bed, a counter, a table, the wall, your choice, but we're taking our time, breathing. Good, let's switch that up. Let's come back up and we'll do those butt kicks again. Four, three, two, one, let's go. That's it. So you're finding what works best for you. Don't worry about anybody else. In fact, don't even worry about what you did last week, last month, last year, or yesterday. As a matter of fact, we're not going to worry about that. It's how are you feeling today, right now? How are those ankles? Are you barefoot or do you have sneakers? A little bit harder for me to do impact when I'm barefoot. Two, one. Excellent. Come on back down on your mat, whatever that might happen to be. My bath mat. There we go. Two, one. Let's go. Chest coming down between the hands. This is my lower intensity, so I'm taking my time. I'm not worried about my heart rate going super crazy high right now. I don't need to do a ton of reps. We're doing 30 seconds. It doesn't matter how many you do. What matters is that you're still exercising. Six seconds. I feel like I have this glow coming in the window all of a sudden. Two, one, and relax. Good job. I feel like an angel. Oh. All right, I was so worried about it getting too uh, too dark. I never thought the problem would be that it would be too bright. Okay, if you need a sip of water, now's the time to grab it. And we're gonna go right into a high knee skip and we're gonna combine it up to a plank with a step in. All right, so a little bit of a modified mountain climber. If this is too much for you on your wrist, because we did just do push-ups, that's okay. You can come down and just hold a plank. All right, so there's always, always variations that you can do. And I'll show you when we get down. All right, six seconds. We're gonna go into that high skip, which is just opposite knee, opposite hand, and I'll show you high and low impact. Ready, let's go. Now, if you wanna travel around, you can absolutely move around, or you can stay here. So you can jump all the way up, or maybe you're gonna keep one foot down and you're just gonna go opposite arm, opposite knee. This is good. This is gonna get your heart rate up. That's it. Good. Eight seconds. Perfect. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, so come on down. 
into a plank. Again, any wrist issues, you can come right on down, down to your elbows. Two, one, right here. And then if you can step in and out, in and out. Any wrist issues, come on down onto those forearms. You're not, you may not be able to come in quite as far, but that's okay. You find what works for you. Keep going. I'm just folding up this mat just a little bit. And you know what? If you want to just work on holding your plank, work on holding your plank. That's absolutely okay. That's it. And relax there. Come on back up. I'm going to do that skipping again. Three, two, one. Let's go. So I have to make sure that I keep my mat in the screen, don't I? I have to make sure I'm double checking that all the time. When I'm in my studio with our regular virtual fit camp classes, it's uh, very much, I know where my mat is, I know where my walls are, I know where I'm supposed to be. 10 seconds. That's it. Really good. Three, two, and one. Good job. Come on down. Let's see if I put the mat right here. Yes, that's great. Three, two, one. I'm going to go on my elbows. I'm going to bring my knee in. So now because this floor is so, so darn slippery, I can kind of just slide my foot in. You may not have that. You may have to actually come step in and out, in and out. I could pretty much, if I wanted to, do mountain climbers here and just let my feet slide. Four, three, two, one, and relax. You know, there have been trainers that have spent a lot of money on these things called gliders to give you the result that I just got from sliding on a slippery floor. Okay, grab some water, please. I think I have my big, this one liter, two liters. I don't know what this is. Is that one liter? I think it's about one liter. Really good. Okay, we are moving on to the third one. We're gonna do jacks. Variations are okay. We're gonna do a little bit of balancing where we're gonna kick forward and back. I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna kick this bed. Jacks, I will show you the modification, but for the balancing one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift one foot up. We're gonna kick forward and then kick back. And then kick forward, woo, and then kick back. It's okay if you flop around a little bit. Maybe you don't want to make the kick as big. Maybe you're more here working on a little bit of a pendulum. That's perfectly okay. All right, so jacks. We all know the typical high impact jacks. Two, one, if that's where you are, and this feels good for you and your body today, that's where I want you to be. Maybe your arms don't go as high if you have any shoulder issues. Maybe you're here with this lower impact, getting those arms up above the heart, still gonna bring the heart rate up. That's really good. You do what works best for you. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, let's give this balancing a try. So I'm gonna balance on my left leg. My right leg is gonna go forward and back. And let's see how silly this can look. Two. One, let's go. So kick forward, kick back. So I'm doing this little pendulum here, trying to focus on something that doesn't move. So I'm trying not to pay attention to anything that's moving 10 stories below me. Out of this window, find a spot that doesn't move. Oh, I can feel that in my ankle, in my calf, those stabilizers in my glutes. Really good. Oh, there we go. Oh, saved by the bell. All right, let's do those jacks again. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. So how many of you have ever said that you're traveling and that has been the reason why you don't get your workout in? Oh, I'm traveling. That's why I'm not eating healthy. That's why I'm not getting my workout in. I flew to Toronto, so I couldn't pack a big cooler like I can if it was grocery. I'm going low impact for the last six seconds. Three, 
two and one, good job. So I went to a little grocery store. I'm gonna balance right leg and I'm gonna kick my left. Three, two, one, let's go. And I, I've done this presentation in our virtual fit camp four, where I've talked about staying healthy while traveling. I very much try my best to practice what I preach. There's a fridge here. I requested a microwave. I went to a little grocery store. Luckily, it had like a salad bar and soup stations, which were great. <laughs> ah, I'm flopping around. We focus. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And relax that down. Good job. Give that a little shake. Ooh, the calves are burning. So yeah, so I was able to go. I picked up some fruit. I picked up uh, like a mixture of different salads so that I could have some different salads for my lunches. I picked up a little charcuterie board with some cheese and grapes and a little bit of meat, uh, bananas. I had some granola bars. So I really tried to get those things so that A, I'm saving myself a lot of money because I'm not going buying breakfast. I'm not going buying lunch. All I'm worrying about is buying my evening meals and that's perfect. That's a little special thing for me, right? So I'm not missing out on everything, but for the most part, I'm being very controlled with what I'm eating. We're going to do squat jumps, and we are going to go down into a hover plank, or what some people would call a bear crawl position, and we're going to do a little bit of a twist. So I will show you that when we get down. Again, any problems with the wrist, maybe you want to hold some weights, or if you have those push-up bars, or you can come down on your elbows. It's going to be a little bit more tricky, but it can be done. All right, squat jumps. You do not have to jump. You can just do squats. Maybe you can just do a squat and then come up on your tiptoes. Ready? Let's go. Down. And if you can, it doesn't have to be far off the ground either. Right? Remember, I'm not wearing footwear, so I'm not going to go crazy on my joints. I'm going to be careful. So my toes are just coming off. I am leaving the floor, but I don't have to. Maybe I'm here. Right? This. Look. Squat. Reach up. Big arms. Guess what that's going to do? That's going to get your heart rate up without necessarily needing to jump. Oh, I promise you, that's getting my heart rate up. Good, and relax. Come on down. Knees directly underneath the hips, hands directly underneath the shoulders. We're gonna do a hover plank, so just lift the knees up, and then we're gonna twist to one side, and twist to the other. Now, what you could do here, if you wanted, you could take something like a water bottle. Ah, all my water bottles are full of water. I was gonna say an empty one would be nice. I don't want to spill anything or bust anything. You can take like your metal water bottle if you have one, put it between your knees and still do that twist. Good. I'll be honest, that did not feel very low intensity to me. <laughs> All right, let's do the squat jumps again. Let's go. I may have to reevaluate that one for the future. That, that may not be one of our low intense exercises. That's it. Really good. Now we got my heart rate up. I think more than these squat jumps did. Really good. Breathing, slow the breathing down. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Oh, let's do that quote unquote low intensity. Exercise again. Didn't feel low intensity. <laughs> two, one hover plank. So my knees are off the floor, and then I bring two one side, and then bring both of them to the other side. Really good. Breathing. I'm gonna try for my elbows just to see. It's a yeah, it's definitely more challenging because you're lower to the floor. I'll try my fists. So I always try to mix it up. If something doesn't feel right. Don't be afraid to try something different. Maybe you're just holding this one. Good, and relax. Maybe the twist didn't work for you and you just wanted to hold it. It's perfectly okay. <sighs> Grab a sip of water. We're doing amazing. Okay. So, what we are going to do 
because we are going to go fast feet. And that's just running as fast as you can. You can move if you want. You can go wide and narrow. You can stay wide. You can stay narrow. It does not matter to me whatsoever. And then we're going to just do a little punching. Cross, cross. So what I do each time is I pivot my foot. If you do happen to have a couple of weights or a couple of water bottles and you want to hold something for a little bit of shoulder, extra shoulder work, please go ahead. But just be very safe. You don't want to go too crazy. The heavier the weight, the slower you have to go. All right, fast feet. We can do this. And we'll be halfway through the workout, just like that. Three, two, one, let's go. So I'm gonna start narrow here. Then when I get bored with this, because I get bored with things real easy, then I'm gonna change it up a little bit. That's it. So maybe I go wide, maybe I go in and out, maybe I just wanna travel a little, whatever you wanna do. I'll do it really good. Nine seconds. Can you go a little faster with those feet? Come on. This is our higher intensity. We want to get that heart rate up. We want to be working hard. Those big muscles, right? And walk that out. So we're going to do that punch with a little bit of a pivot. I like to pivot the foot to protect the knees. Ready? Let's go. Because you can imagine if I was punching here and I was keeping my legs locked in place, look what's happening to my knee. Like that's going to cause a lot of problems. So just that simple little pivot by lifting my ankle and punching out a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of core, stabilizers. That's it. Still cardiovascular, just not quite as high. That's it. Really good. And again, if you have those extra little bit of weight in your hands, good, relax, and you would get a little bit more shoulder. Okay. Three, two, one. Run it up. That's it. Come on now. Can you go a little bit faster? Now, it's not this, right? We're not doing this big run. You're keeping your feet as close to the floor as you can. <laughs> My foot's barely coming off the floor because I'm moving so fast. Staying kind of on the pads of my feet. If you try to shift your weight from one foot to the other the whole time, it doesn't look as uh, agile. And that's what we're working on when we move really fast like this, right? We're working on a little bit of agility. Can you move quickly? Two. One, good, relax there. Let's do that punch with that little twist one more time. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, if you wanted to work more obliques, what you could do is you could hold yourself here and then right here. So what I'm doing is I'm not twisting as far. The minute you go here where the hip and the knee has to move with it, you need to pivot. But if you just want to punch here, that's perfectly okay if you like. You find what works for you. Some people don't like that little pivot, or maybe you've got sneakers on a really sticky mat and it doesn't pivot the same. And relax, beautiful job. Really good, we are halfway through the workout. You are doing amazing. Thumbs up, everyone's still with me. Good, really good. I always ask people, because when I do the recording, I like this anyways, there's actually nobody watching. I'm doing this completely alone. But I love, love when I hear that you still feel like it's, it's happening. Like I'm still speaking to you. And that's what I do whenever I teach these classes. I really try to imagine who am I speaking to and I wanna reach you so that you feel like, yes, I'm here and I'm holding you accountable and you can do this workout. You absolutely 100% can do it. You might have to modify. Maybe you wanna go higher intensity than me. That's great, do that. Figure out what you can do and make it your workout because that's who it's about. It's not about me. This is all about you. All right. Okay. That was a nice little break. Good. We're going to move on. We're going to do a sumo squat with a heel lift. And I think I might need the mat for this one because I can really see my feet wanting to go a little crazy here. Ooh, even with this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to get low and then we're going to do a little pulse. And each time we're going to lift the opposite heel. So we're gonna target those inner thighs. For the next couple exercises, we're gonna pick on the inner thighs and the glutes a little bit, okay? So we are going to do that. And then we are gonna come down for just a little bit of a thread the needle. This is really nice spinal twist. So it's kind of a combo, something that we've done in yoga when I've got those yoga classes up on the recording. You've probably seen those from mine or Sheila or Joanne. So this is just one where we lift up, Come down, lift up, up, 
and come down. So what we're working here is range of motion. It's not necessarily a lot of strength or agility or anything like that. This is range of motion, which is just as important as everything else. All right, let's get into that sumo squat with my crazy, this is a workout in itself. Okay, get low, ready? It's a pulse and a lift, lift, opposite heel. So one heel, then the other, and then the other. So there's a little pulse each time, and each time I pulse down, I'm lifting a heel, and it's burning my inner thighs. That's it, really good. Woo, really good, especially when my feet want to slip away. Keep going. Five, three, two, and one. Oh, let's come on down and do that really pretty, delicious little thread the needle. So I'm going to keep my right hand down, and I'm going to go with my left hand. I'm going to reach up, come down, under, and reach up. A lot, a lot of people think that when you do a workout to make it really effective, that it has to be heart rate increasing, muscle burning. And those are great. Don't get me wrong. I love a good muscle burn and a good sweat. But really good fitness is holistic. It's I need to work on every part of my body in every plane that it moves. Good. Relax. And I need to work on my cardiovascular. And I need to work on my strength. Two. One. Let's get down and lift. I need to work on my agility. I need to work on my balance. I need to work on my range of motion. Because when any one of those factors is missing from your workout and you're doing something day after day after day, and if one of those components is missing, you're gonna increase your risk of injury. You need to work on everything. Because you can be strong, but if you don't have a range of motion, let's say your shoulder, you've got some pretty decent shoulder muscle. Two, one, good. Let's come on back down, we're gonna do the other side. You've got some decent shoulder muscle, but you have no range of motion, right? That there's gonna be issues, you're gonna have problems. Ready, let's go, bring it up. I'm going other side now, so my left hand is down and I'm moving my right arm up, a little twist to the spine and down. Chuck, don't go too big. If this feels really tight for you, then you don't have to go that big. You do what you, what works for you. That's it. Seven seconds. Three, two, and one. And relax. Beautiful. Another one done. What was that? Was that number seven? Six. That was number six. Okay. We're going to do some fast front kicks. Because I'm going to need that in a minute. I'm gonna do some fast front kicks. So it's just here. I like getting my arms involved whenever I do any sort of kicking again. Wanna get my heart rate up. We are gonna combine it up with a one leg bridge, which means we're gonna get down on our back. One leg is down, the other leg is up, and we're gonna lift and squeeze through our glutes. All right, I'll explain more when we get down. All right, deep breath. Four, three, two, one, let's just kick it forward. So now when you kick forward, it's not a puncher's kick. If anybody knows football, it's not this, right? Where you're kind of, <laughs> you like the sound effect. <laughs> but what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring a knee up and then kick. So here, kick, kick, and kick. You don't have to kick high, maybe you're here. That's okay. You can bring it up. Let me see your dirty bottom of your feet. Is that just me? <laughs> Keep going. Four, three, two, one, good job. Come on down onto your back, please. Let me see where I can go here. Down on my back. My right leg is down. My left leg is in the air. And I'm going to press up and down. So my heel is down, toe is up for two reasons. For some reason, my heel is not as slippery as the bottom of my foot. So I'm not slipping as much. And when you do that, when you lift the toe, it does target the back of the leg just a little bit more. Gets into the hamstring. And the glutes. I've got my hands behind my head just because I have a ponytail in that's in the way. You could bring your hands up here. You could hold weight. If you had a weight and wanted to, you could put a weight on your hips. Good, relax. But this is all about not needing equipment. We're still going to get a really good workout. All right, we're going to do front kick. Two, one, let's go. Right here. 
Now, please remember the joy of being able to do a recording. If you need to pause this, you have my permission to pause it. It's not for very long. All right, if you just need a little extra breather, that's okay, you go ahead and do that. But don't plunk yourself down on your hotel bed or on a couch. Just walk around, let your heart rate recover, and then get back into it as soon as you can. Two, one. Because what happens sometimes is when we get too comfy, then all of a sudden we don't get back at it, right? And we don't want to do that. We want to finish what we started. Other leg down, up, and lift, and down. So now it's my left leg is down, the heel is down, the right leg is up, and I'm pressing through the back of that leg really good. Perfect. Really good. Press it up. You're doing so good. We are almost there. Perfect. And relax. Good job. Beautiful. Another one. Done. You're doing really great. Really, really great. Okay. What do we have next? We're almost done. Okay, we have a speed skater. I am gonna be a little bit worried about this one for me because I was not expecting this floor to be quite as slippy. And I have a feeling if I do a speed skater, I might just end up over here. So I'm gonna go really small and I'm gonna do more of a sidestep or you know a really bad 80s dance. Remember those? Lines of people. Did I just date myself? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do speed skaters. If you can, right, you might go, I'm, I'm really speed skating here. Like, <laughs> sliding around. So you do what you can, whatever's going to be safe for you. All right, we're, and then we're going to combine it up with a left modified side plank with a little bit of a clamshell. All right. I'll explain it when we get there. Don't even worry about it right now. You don't need to worry about it now. We're just doing speed skater or, or the Carlton or whatever in the world you want to call it. See, I'm totally dating myself. Two, one, let's go. So like I said, I'm just gonna go a little bit more control so that I don't completely wipe out. If you need to, you can make this bigger. I feel like if I, I can turn this into, you know, one of those, you can actually buy those devices and you put like slippery like slippers on the bottom of your feet and you can actually practice. But they also have stoppers so you don't go too far. Two, one. Come on down onto one side as if you were going to do a side plank, but you're going to keep your bottom knee down. The elbow directly underneath. The feet stay together. As you come up, you're going to do a clamshell and then come back down and then back up and do a clamshell. I don't know why my arm is getting involved, but it is, and I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> so I'm doing apparently a clamshell with my arms as well as my knees. So each time I press up, I'm pressing into that knee. I'm opening up my knees. My feet stay together. So I'm working a little bit of glute, a little bit of hip opener, and apparently a little bit of shoulder opener too, just because that's what naturally happens. Good. Come on back up. Why not? If I can work two body parts at once, I'm going to. All right. Two, one, speed skater or sidestep. I got to be careful. I do not want to hurt myself. I still have a lot of fitness conference to do. And after me being away for a couple of weeks, I hiked the East Coast Trail in Newfoundland. <laughs> Thank you to everyone for being so supportive and doing all those pre-recorded workouts I had done for you. But I want to be back to our live workout. I'm putting a little bit of a challenge together for September. That's going to be loads of fun. A little bit of accountability. Or maybe it's a little bit of fun and loads of accountability. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. All right, come on down on the other side. <laughs> Knees together, feet stay together, and then the knees come apart into a clamshell. Up. It's gonna be a good challenge in September, I promise. We, I've been talking to the online group, asking everybody what they really need. We've talked about the Ignite, the Body Transformation Challenge, some of the more uh, fat loss programs I used to run, some accountability. So I think, I think I've got a good idea of what I'm gonna put together. That one will be coming out here now in the next little bit. Good, and relax. So one thing is for sure, I know, one thing I'm getting from all of you is that you need to get back into 
I need more accountability with my meal planning. I need to start planning out my meals a little bit more, getting myself more organized in the kitchen. Because you know, when we plan and we prep and we're ready, we nail it every time. It's when we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants that we start to make not so great decisions, right? So that's one of the recurring themes that everybody is mentioning to me. So that, will, that accountability will definitely be a part of it. Two left, we're gonna do star jumps. So star jump, I'm gonna show both high and low because high can be quite high. So here you start in a squat, your feet together, you're gonna come up. And when you land, you're bringing your feet together. So it's one big motion out. Now, low impact, you're here, okay? And then we're gonna combine it up. We're gonna go old school. I want everyone to go back to grade seven, grade eight gym class. Remember when we walked around the gym and we did this sort of foolishness? That's what we're doing today. Who needs a ton of weights when you can just do arm circles for 30 seconds? All right, four, three, two, one. Let's go, stir jump right here. We're almost done this workout. You are doing absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of every single one of you. And just so you know, I'm doing this on the Friday evening, as I mentioned, Saturday morning at 8 a.m. I do have a workout plan in the, uh, in the conference. I am scheduled to do a workout. I think it's another hip workout, maybe. It might be a kickboxing one. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. I know it's a workout at 8 a.m. I love Saturday morning workouts. And relax. Really good. All right. 12 years old. That gym teacher. Pulling those arms out. Let's go. You know they got some secret pleasure out of making us do this, right? I'm watching us go. Oh. <laughs> Not that I get any sort of pleasure out of anything like that. Let's change direction. We're going to keep our arms up. We're not locking those arms out. Look this. Right, soften the elbows. No shrugging. We want to work the deltoids, not the traps. Really good. One more time the other way. Four, three, two, and one. Bring that down. Oh, there was a little bit of burn there. Now, I did do a shoulder workshop this morning. So that might be why my shoulder is feeling that burn a little bit quicker. Two, one, start jumps. Let's go. Out of here. So remember, if that impact is too much, right here. Right? It's okay. This is kind of like somewhere in between a star jump and a jumping jack. And I don't know what this is, but it works. It gets the heart rate up. Remember, there's those arms up above the heart. I'm going to get them up. Seven seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Walk that out. Let's do those shoulders. Soft elbows. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. And let's roll. Those circles. Those circles. You got it. And if you want, you can go the other direction. No shrugging. Deltoids, not traps. And sometimes in order to keep those shoulders down, I want you to think more about pulling the shoulders down, the shoulder blades down with those lat muscles as opposed to just thinking about pushing them down. Circle again. There's the burn. Three, two, and one. Good job. Really good. All right. Really good. We have one more to go and we are done. We are going to do a low squat hop. Uh, you can certainly modify this. You can just do squats. You can do wall sit with this one. But if you can, we're going to get low. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hop. But I'm going to stay in this kind of squat position when I hop. So I'm not coming out and in. I'm here and I'm staying there. All right. And then we're going to combine it up with uh, crunch toe touches down on our back. Legs are up in the air. And we're going to reach up and touch those toes. Opposite hand, opposite toe. We're going to do those twice. And then we are going to stretch. And you get to go on about your day. All right. Are we ready? I'm going to get down in the squat right here. Two, one, let's go. Right here. So I'm going to stay low. And the little squat doesn't have to be high. I'm just barely leaving the ground. And that's beautiful. I promise you, if you're hinging and you're getting into a squat, not this, right? You're actually getting into that squat. Those quads. Fire! Come on. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, burn, 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 burn. Come on down on your back. We're almost done this. 
Legs are up in the air. I'm so tempted to put my feet on the bed. I will not. Legs are up. Opposite hand, opposite toe. Let's reach out. Let's go tap, tap. So now with your neck, if you find this one really hard on your neck, try to be careful. You don't want to tuck your chin into your chest, but you don't want to drive it up towards the ceiling either. You're trying to keep this nice neutral spot with the neck so that you can focus on the abdominals and do that little bit of crunching. As you can tell, I don't do a ton of abs. <laughs> I don't, maybe you can tell either from my own abs or, or from the fact that we didn't do any, however you would like to interpret that statement. <laughs> I can't believe I just walked right into that. Let's go. But I truly believe, you know, when for me, I am much more worried about function and form of how my body works than I am about the aesthetics of what my stomach that's had three babies and enjoys a little bit of cheese every now and then looks like. So I'm gonna work more planks. I'm gonna work more of that transverse abdominus, that deep core, so that I know that that is strong. Two, one. And then, you know, if I ever decide I wanna take it up a notch and I wanna shrink that stomach, well then guess what that takes? Oh, come on, let's tap it out. Does, do you think it takes lots of crunches? Nope, nope, and nope. It takes really clean nutrition, water, figuring out my hormones, because I am, you know, five months away, four months away from 50. So I've got some hormones that I gotta figure out. Reducing stress, get more sleep, bang on nutrition. Ah, that seems like a lot sometimes, doesn't it? Good, and relax. So what we have to do when we get to that point, that's when we have to make some decisions and do a, a gut check. Ah, see what I did there? Pardon the pun. We have to do a gut check and we have to figure out where's our priorities, right? Is your priority, you wanna be strong and you wanna be healthy and you wanna live a really long, healthy life. Um, and you're not super worried about, oh, am I gonna have a six pack? You know, and if you wanna have a six pack, that's okay. There's no judgment there. That's awesome. But there are sacrifices that have to be done when you want to take it to that next level. That's where I can help with accountability, that sort of thing. But you have to make that decision of what am I willing to sacrifice? What kind of life do I want to lead? Am I still going to be a happy person? Because you have to be a happy person, even if you're working towards a goal. All right, let's take a big inhale up. You're not allowed to be grumpy and you're not allowed to hate your life because you're on a program or on a diet or I need to, I have to do this. No, you get to do intervals. You have the privilege of moving your body to do intervals. You make it work for you. Remember, you're not supposed to kill yourself in these workouts. Bring it up. If you ever feel like you're gonna puke, pass out or die, you need to dial it back. That is not the goal of a workout. The goal of a workout is I'm sweating, my muscles are burning, I don't love every second of this. I'm really happy when I'm done. But that's the key. When I'm done, I'm happy. I feel good because I've been moving. I've been doing something good for myself. Stretch out that hamstring. Good, let's bring it up to the other side. When you feel that way, when you get to the end of a workout, even if it was hard, even if you sucked wind, I'm telling you, there's some days I'm teaching these classes and I'm sucking wind. Those are the days when we're actually going to see more changes. Feel down to up. More than the days when we have loads of energy and we want to do the workout. It's when we really don't want to and we do it anyways. That's where we get stronger. That is where we get healthier. That is where we see changes happen. Because it's really easy to not do it. It's really easy to go, I'll do it another day. I'll do it another time. Bring it out. And it's not, please remember this, it is not about beating yourself up. I cannot tell you the number of emails I get when somebody does one of the first classes and they go, oh, it made me realize how out of shape I am. Well, that's fine. If you're going to use that as motivation, that's fine. But if you're going to use it to beat yourself up, no. Because all that tells you is where you are at this point in time today. That's not going to tell you where you're going to be six months from now. When you get in there and you start realizing that, oh, exercise can be fun. It can be silly. It, it's it can be sweaty, sweating can be fun, a little bit of a muscle burn can be, you know, enjoyable, sort of. <laughs> Let's go to the side. 
Maybe my version of fun is different than your version of fun. That's okay. That's it. Good. Let's bring the hands down. Let's bring them behind the back and pull down. Really good. Stretch at the front of the shoulders, stretch at the chest. If you would like, you can drop one ear over and bring it up and over to the other side. So guess what? We just did a workout, no equipment in a hotel room. I didn't even have a yoga mat. Good, shake that out. Let's take a big inhale up. So before you have any excuses over, I need to have the perfect workout space or the workout clothes or the workout equipment or blah, 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 blah. You can do this from anywhere. And I encourage you, this one will be on the playlist. Anytime you're in a hotel, grab it and go ahead and watch it. Let's reach it up, 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 up. Please give your fellow classmates a hand and give yourself a sweaty pat on the back. Please remember uh, on Sundays, if you want, go out, stay active, go for a little bit of a hike. If you want to do one of the recordings on the playlist, that is awesome. Go ahead and do that. This Monday coming up, uh, we have Total Bar with Polly. She's going to come in as one of the guest instructors. And then all of our classes are going ahead of schedule this week. We have Tuesday strength circuits, Wednesday Tabatas. Thursday is our early bird express. We're going to give one more week a try outside at 6 a.m. I know it's getting pretty dark, but we're going to give it a try. Friday is, as always, is our rest day. And then Saturday, we will be outdoors, weather permitting, at the Gordon Snow Center in Fall River at 8 a.m., but then it's also live stream. Please remember that, that just because it's an outdoor workout, if you're a virtual, if you're across the country, uh, you can still watch it. You can still tune in. Okay, please remember that. I love you all. Have a fantastic day. Have a great weekend. And I will see you back again uh, very soon. Love you.